and cloudy day over here and I'm so thankful we get to spend most of the time at home. I think all of our time at home today. Yesterday I had a big errands day where I started the day at a coffee shop which was really nice and then I went to Trader Joe's, I went to the antique mall, I went to a plant store. I'm on the hunt for a palm tree, a very specific plant for a very specific place because as I took down all of our holiday decor, it just, it feels very serene and peaceful and like a blank slate, but I also am itching to add more greenery and more pops of color since it is so muted now without all of the decorations. And I ordered this really beautiful spherical planter, I'll show you in a second, for our living room. And I have this palm tree that I'd really like to place in the planter, but it is a little tricky to find because I need a 15 gallon of this palm tree and I've found 30 gallons, which is way too big, and seven gallons. So I'm currently on like a little treasure hunt for this plant. So I looked in a couple nurseries yesterday, but no luck, but I called a bunch today and emailed a few places, and I think I found one. So I'll need to go take a field trip there probably tomorrow. But anyways, that's just one little project I've been working on. But today on the agenda, I have some editing to get done. I have some organizing I wanna do in the pantry. And then, what else? I think just some other things around the house, but I'm excited to spend time with you. Oh, and tonight I'm making one of our favorite recipes, chimichurri, like uh, black bean sweet potato bowls. It's so delicious. I'm already looking forward to that, but really excited to spend time with you all. And I also was just taking my vitamins for the day, and I wanna thank Ritual for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love Ritual. I've been taking their Essential for Women multivitamins for quite some time now and they are wonderful and I also added the Symbiotic Plus to my vitamin routine and both of these supplements are really phenomenal and especially as we dive into the new year I feel like a lot of us really try to focus on reevaluating our routines and daily rituals and really want to focus on wellness and health and so this is a really simple great first step to pursue that and ritual offers clean traceable products which i really appreciate and all of their products are high quality and science based so i do feel like you can trust their product and feel good about putting them into your body which of course is so important when you are looking for a vitamin and as much as i try to make sure and be intentional about creating a daily menu that is nutrient dense and full of those vitamins that I need. I appreciate this multivitamin because it is designed to help fill those nutrient gaps with nine key nutrients in just two daily capsules. So that's really amazing. And the Essential for Women multivitamin was also shown to increase vitamin D, omega-3, DHA, and folate levels in 12 weeks. So they really are, like I said, science-backed products. And the Symbiotic Plus has really been great because it's a three-in-one gut support supplement featuring clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics to support that microbiome balance all in one, all in one capsule. So these have been a great part of my daily routine. I try to take them in the morning, but I also appreciate that they are, they don't ever like make me feel queasy or hurt my stomach because I have experienced that in the past with other vitamins. So clearly I really love them and I hope you do too. And you actually can get 30% off your first month of ritual right now. So I will put all of the details in the description, but I really recommend them and love them and hope you do too. Now I think I want to start off with some organization. Actually, let me show you the planter I'm talking about first and kind of the vision for the living room space and then we'll do some organizing. Okay, here's the planter and I'll put a inspo image of the plant that I'd like to put it in. It's a Bismarck palm. That's the plant I'm looking for, which I think I found. I just have to go check it out and hopefully it'll fit in my car but I think it'll add a really great statement to the space. And then when the holidays roll around again for autumn, I'll probably just keep it, but, or keep it in the living room. But when Christmas rolls around and we put the Christmas tree in that area, I can move it outside, which is really, really nice. Or maybe to my office, but it is an indoor outdoor planter. So it does offer that flexibility, which is great. And I haven't taken the plastic wrapping off of it yet, just because I'm thinking I'm gonna keep that on until I plant. I don't know, we'll see, but I was just keeping it on for now until I'm ready to pot our new plant. 
I went to the container store yesterday because I needed to return something that I ordered online, but they really got me. I walked out with this ginormous bag and I knew I wanted to check out their pantry section because I will say our pantry is quite organized and I'm very thankful for that. I, I spent quite a bit of time um, on the pantry when we first moved into our home just so that it would be organized and have some rhyme to rhythm. Is that how that phrase goes? Rhyme to rhythm? Have some rhyme to rhythm? That kind of makes sense. Let's, let's verify this. Or have a method to the madness is another phrase I could use. Rhyme to rhythm. I'm the queen of almost saying a phrase correctly. Like I'll just add a little twist to it and then it won't really make sense. What is the rhyme of rhythm? <laughs> Um, yeah, nothing's really showing up, so maybe that's a Allison original, but let me know. Maybe I'm close and just messing something up, but anyways, I did pick up a few. You could use them in various parts of your home, but I specifically picked them up for the pantry. They're all plastic containers. Palmer's just wagging his tail looking up at me. And for this one, I thought this might be nice to put some of my teas in. So they could be used for various things. And in this, I might put onions and garlic in here. We'll see how that fits. I definitely want one of these containers that I picked up to go for the to go with the onion and garlic because sometimes it gets messy. Well, one, the onion, the onion flakes or the onion skin will sort of peel off sometimes and it just gets messy because right now I have it in this little crate, which I like. It's cute, but obviously it has an open bottom, so stuff will just come out at the bottom. So maybe I'll switch it over to one of these plastic bins, and this will be just a lot easier to clean. So that's the plan. We're going to do a little bit of organizing and tidying of the pantry. groundbreaking but we did add a bit more storage some of the containers are a little pointless like this one I can put our oils in but it doesn't need its own container absolutely not but it is kind of satisfying and easy to pull out and then I put our nuts in here instead of keeping the onions and garlic and sweet potatoes and I put them over here in our clear bin which is nice this one and this one they stack on each other nicely but since I had some taller items I didn't want to stack them but then for this one I put all of Palmer's treats and other things like these vitamins we put on top of his food where are they it's like a, a powder that I just sprinkle on top of his food and then he has lots of treats look at these cute birthday ones he has this is we don't know when his exact birthday is but the day that we adopted him is February 13th, so it's kind of coming up. So he gets some birthday treats to celebrate for the next couple of months. It's a tight squeeze. So we did that. What else did I do? Oh, the teas. I have the teas up here, and this one is pretty nice because I can just easily slide it in and out, and I have more just single tea bags in this canister. Let's fix ourselves a little afternoon beverage. Yesterday when I ran my errands, I stopped in Trader Joe's and found this drink that I am so excited about. It is so delicious to me. So my favorite soda is root beer. And I, you guys know I love kombucha. And I love this brand GTS kombucha. This is what we typically get. They have such good flavors. So that's what we gravitate towards. And they have this new sector of their business this new I guess drink that they have a bunch of different flavors but it's their alive brand 
the same kombucha brand, but it's their Live Elixirs. And this one is a root beer drink. It tastes so similar to root beer, which is my favorite soda. Of course, it doesn't taste exactly like root beer, but it tastes quite delicious. There's really not much added sugar and they add mushrooms with health benefits and they also, let's see, I think there's apple cider vinegar in here, which is really good for you and just really, really well made to mimic that root beer flavor. I think they also have a cola flavor and then a matcha vanilla, a golden turmeric. I think some of those flavors sound familiar to me, but this one is a hit in my book. I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to pour this over ice and enjoy. I had about half the bottle yesterday, but like I said, it's so, it's so delicious. So if you like root beer and kombucha and mushrooms, this also might be a hit for you as well. I'm gonna spend some time in the office getting some work done. I have a video that I wanna complete edits on this afternoon. So we're gonna hunker down get that out of the way and I wanted to quickly show you a couple records I picked up yesterday. I popped into my favorite antique mall and they have a whole room in the back filled to the brim with records so it's a great place to source some and I was specifically hoping to find Beach Boys or Billy Holiday but I didn't have a whole lot of time to sort through everything so I just quickly browsed. I didn't find either of those but I did find these two fun ones and this one is my favorite of the two we have this one call it love and then the big ones and this one's really fun too it's a bit more upbeat which is fun for the time and place but most of the time during the day I like more soothing isn't really the word I'm looking for I guess more peaceful like not too pop I like a little bit of upbeat melodies and just a nice lively rhythm but I prefer more just simple and less harsh soundtrack if that makes sense but anyways I love this one and I'm gonna play it now the my favorite song on here actually it's not the one it's not on the cover they replaced one of them it's called my cup runneth over and it's it's a good one so I'm gonna play that get some editing done and then before we know it it's gonna be time to cook dinner the day is going by really quickly I was also hoping to plant some milkweed today because I have quite a bit of seeds and I am thinking of the butterflies they are they are gonna need a lot of milkweed so I may do that if the weather permits and it was gonna rain today but it doesn't look like it now it's kind of sunny so we'll see one thing at a time let's get this video finished
finished editing our video and now I figured we could have ourselves a little sunset gardening session. It's very cloudy out but the sun's going to set in about 20 minutes and I want to plant some milkweed. Like I said, I want to make sure we have enough milkweed for the butterflies. I probably will take all of the pots I have, not today, but soon I'll take the extra pots I have and plant additional milkweed. This is what the seeds look like. They're so interesting looking. Oh, also I forgot to show you, I got my nails painted yesterday and I'm very excited about them. Little bubble, what is it called? Bubble, bubble bath by OPI. And then um, a little cherry on the ring finger. So sweet. So this is what the seeds look like. They're very tiny and they're kind of hollow on one side which is interesting. But yeah, if you wanna go ahead, of course not every climate can do this because of the snow and winter conditions, but if you wanna go ahead and start planting native milkweed, then the butterfly gardens will hopefully be all ready and set to go for springtime. So we'll do that, we'll plant some of those in the bed. And last time I checked, there was actually quite a bit of milkweed sprouting up from when I, is that rain? It's raining. <laughs> It's raining a tiny bit. Oh, it was just like a tiny sprinkle. That's so interesting. But um, there was quite a bit of milkweed popping up. So I'll show you what I already have growing. Here's the milkweed that's sprouting up that we have planted already. It seems to be growing pretty quickly. I don't know why there are the yellowing leaves. I'll have to look into that, but we have a good thing going. We'll just need to produce a lot more because caterpillars eat a ton of it. scrapbook. I'm just taking my sweet time with this scrapbook. I <laughs> spend so much time on each page, which you wouldn't think so because they're pretty minimal, but I just love to look at all the stickers and figure out which pictures I want to put together and cut little shapes out of them. So I have a lot of fun with it. I'll give you a tour of what I have so far. 
like I said, it's <laughs> not even close to being complete. I have so many photos still. I have this big chunk of photos. I don't, I'll probably need to get another scrapbook before I get through all of those photos, but we'll see. It's hard to say. And I have my spearmint tea. It's quite lovely. Okay, here's what we have on the front. I don't think I've showed you the front yet, but it's this cute photo of V and I at the beach. Smoochin', so cute. And this was from New Year's Eve last year. We actually did the same exact thing for New Year's Eve this year where we went to the beach, watched the sunset, had a bonfire, had sparklers, and then we went to one of our favorite restaurants. And so I put those photos and then some words and doodles and then this is one of my favorite days from last year. It is the day that we went to go see the manatees and we got pancakes and it was just a beautiful January day. Hoping to recreate this day soon, but that's just really sweet memories. And then I did go out of order a little bit, but this was our anniversary trip in early February to Utah. We went skiing for the first time together and that was just such a blast. It was so beautiful and just really fun to be able to ski together. Here's some more Utah photos. And then also more Utah photos from when we went to Sundance. I feel like I should show you guys just an overhead shot. Let me, that'll be a better angle for you. Okay, there's the Utah. Okay, let me start from the beginning. We have New Year's Eve, manatees and pancakes. I love this doodle I did of the manatee with the heart eye. Utah. Utah. Sundance, which is in Utah, but our favorite resort. It was really nice. And then the last page that I did today was St. Augustine. So this is our tradition. We go to St. Augustine every January for the weekend and we either do a day trip or we stay the night and it's one of my favorite days of the year too. It's just such a sweet tradition and these pictures are from last year where it was our sixth trip in a row. So that's just a really, really lovely memory. I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs and call it a night though. I just started the Wind in the Willows book last night and I'm already so in love with it and so excited to read some tonight. It is a classic and I don't remember reading it as a young person, but, or a child, I still am a young person, I suppose, depends how you look at it, but I, um, I don't remember reading it, but then I bought it like a year ago because I just loved the cover art and I was just adding to my library collection, if you will, and it just spoke to me and now I'm reading it and I'm very much enjoying it so far. I read the introduction last night and it was written by A.A. A. Milne, who's the author of Winnie the Pooh, a famous English author and the introduction was so witty and charming. You could tell that the two authors are, have a beautiful or had a beautiful relationship. This was, it's a, like I said, a classic, so it's quite old. And casually they had a letter from Theodore Roosevelt, who was the president at the time, or maybe he wasn't the president at the time, but basically he read it with his whole family and loved it and it just <laughs> felt very iconic and it feels like a piece of history. That's why I love reading the classics. I feel like it's telling of the times and a lot of times the classic classics age really well and still have such valuable lessons that you can apply today even if it is like the main characters of this book are animals, which you know I love. So I'm very much enjoying it. I'll give you a full review once I finish it, but that's going to be it for today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all are doing well, and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye!